Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel Paris Tutorial. I'm back with one more interesting video. Get into the class. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my class. So in the last class we have already discussed about the uh, separation techniques and all. In this class I want to start with the cell biology. So you already know the types of cells and all. So I just want to give you a brief idea about the cell biology. Okay. So you know that study of cells is what you call cell biology. The cells are of mainly two types. So there are prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Based on the nucleus formation, based on the presence of cell wall and all, based on the DNA material, we divide these two into prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. In this class, I want to concentrate mainly on the prokaryotic organisms and their cell structure. In the next class, I will discuss about the eukaryotic cell. Okay. What are prokaryotics? The name itself says that pro means first carry on is nucleus. It's first formed nucleus. So the nucleus is not well developed in prokaryotes. Even in the nuclear membrane is not at all present in prokaryotes. So they are called the prokaryotic cell or first cell. Okay. They are generally the bacteria. All the bacteria would come under prokaryotic. They have the same cell structure and their uh, modification in it. Okay. So these bacteria are small and simple structures and they are compared with eukaryotes. Okay. They have a complex uh, cell wall structure that I will let you know now. Okay, we have we know that there are cell organelles that are present in eukaryotes and there are few cell organelles that are also present in prokaryotes. They have cytoplasmic matrix which mainly consists of the inclusion bodies, ribosomes, nucleus with genetic material, sorry, nucleoid with genetic material. Okay, the prokaryotic cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan. Here comes the difference between the gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria. Uh, there is a staining technique in microbiology called gram staining where you can differentiate both gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Gram positive bacteria has got a higher percentage of peptidoglycan when compared to gram negative bacteria so they can uh, retain their color when added so it gives you purple color under microscope i will let you know the detailed gram staining method in microbiology class as of now i just wanted to tell you that based on the pre percentage of peptidoglycan in the cell wall of prokaryotes they have been differentiated into gram positive and gram negative okay the components like capsule and fimbria the, the structures that are added along with the cell wall around this uh, around the prokaryotic cell or along the bacteria is what you call capsule that i will tell you now so, okay so when it comes to the size shape so there are mainly three types of uh, shapes present in bacteria one is called a cocci shape which are roughly a spherical shaped cell, uh, cells okay if they keep dividing in the same position in the same linear position you call it as cocus okay uh, streptococcus is a linear chain and have a repeated repeated divisions in one plane okay if you go for cells which have been uh, uh, multiplying in a random position or in an irregular panel so then gives you a bunch of cells like uh, it looks like grape okay so they are called stephylo like they are called staphylococcus like which you uh, which you have like sarsina is an example for that and streptococcus enterococcus are the examples for the linear form of or the long chains of the cells so what com next comes uh, the bacterial shape so uh, next comes the bacilli shaped bacteria where they are rod in shape they, the other uh, they are called rod shaped bacteria and their uh, bacillus megatherium would come under that okay apart from a uh, rod and uh, round shaped we have also spiral shaped and comma shaped okay apart from their shapes there are some bacteria which don't have any shape like actinomycetes, mycoplasma, pneumonia, uh, hypomicrobium, etc. Okay, and uh, they may ask you what is a cell uh, bacteria without a cell wall. So, mycoplasma is the smallest bacteria which has got a size of 0.3 microns. So, this is the bacteria without cell wall. Okay. Okay, let's come to the structure of your prokaryotic cell. As I told you, this is your prokaryotic cell with the high cell wall around it. It gives a shape, okay, and it also gives you uh, attachment to the surface, okay, and it also protects the cell, obviously. And you have got uh, the glycogen granules. They are called. Uh, they are all called as uh, inclusion models. I will tell you in the class itself. And you have ribosomes, which you already know that it is 70s ribosome in prokaryotic cell. 
ओके एंड पॉलीरोबोसम्स यू आर नो दैट एम आर एन एडेड विथ ऑल ऑल लाइन ऑफ राइबोसम्स वी स्कॉट फॉर पॉली राइबोसम्स विद ट्रांसलेशन वुड अकर ओके and this is a cytoplasm you already know it's, and uh, in prokaryotes you have got an additional uh, 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 attachment called flagella which is meant for the locomotion okay and these are all the pili they have two types of pili like sex pili which is meant for the mating bacterial mating okay this is the uh, structure of your prokaryotic cell so so uh, as i told you these are the uh, uh, organelles present in your bacteria i have given you the detailed information about the plasma membrane and its function gas vacuole and its function okay as i told you ribosomes are meant for protein synthesis inclusion meant for the carbon and phosphate for other uh, storage cell wall is meant for the uh, uh, shape giving the shape to the bacteria okay these are the please make a note of it and please uh, go through the channel for your further functions of your uh, organelles in your cell okay next next comes mesosomes so why in particular mesosomes because mesosomes are said to be the extensions of your plasma membrane okay they form either vesicles or tubules okay they are meant for the formation of your cell wall they play major role in it okay even if they are involved in the process of respiration and secretion process also so there are uh, it would increase the plasma membrane's surface area okay and there are two types of mesosomes mainly septal mesosomes and lateral mesosomes okay what is nucleoid as i told you there is no particular nucleus for the dna material to be uh, seated in prokaryotic cell so the whole thing is completely uh, in present in the form of one chromosome in nucleoid okay the most striking difference that's what i told you the eukaryotes and prokaryotes are mainly differentiated based on the genetic material the arrangement right chromosome is located irregularly shaped and uh, prokaryotes mainly contain uh, single unit of dna but the form also have the linear dna the chemical analysis shows 60% of your dna 30% of rna and 10% of your proteins okay apart from this bacterial chromosome it is important to note that in prokaryotes it also got an extra chromosomal genetic material which is meant for the recombination dna technology like because you know that our dna technology is, is a branch where you come across plasmids cosmids etc there you will uh, make use of this plasmids of bacteria for your multiplication of your uh, 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 of your known gene of multiplication of your uh, wanted gene whatever the gene that you wanted you can multiplicate because this particular chromosome also called the plasmid uh, has got an ori orc site like origin of replication because it can replicate by itself so each and every bacteria has got more than one plasmid in the uh, in the cell okay Uh, about our dna technology i will teach i will talk to you separately about our dna technology in other class okay as of now please note that plasmids are good for plasmids are meant for our dna technology okay what is cell wall so here comes the main important point uh, because based on the structure i told you cell wall is a very complex thing in uh, uh, bacterial cell because it is mainly made of peptidoglycan and lipopolysaccharides so peptidoglycan is more in number right so my amount is more okay it gives a 20 to 80 nm thickness of peptidoglycan of murine layer okay and more stronger than gram bacterium so gram negative bacteria has got a lower uh, concentration like 2 to 7 nm okay and it is mainly made of lipopolysaccharides right so example comes e coli so e coli is an example for gram negative bacteria so before that i just wanted to show you how it looks like what are uh, what are uh, uh, the uh, what is this composition of the cell wall and all okay yes so here i have explained you in detail see this is the gram positive this is the gram negative bacteria uh, the peptidoglycan linkage and here is the gram positive bacteria peptidoglycan linkage okay this is called n acetyl muramic acid and this is called n acetyl glucosamine so this is the backbone for your gram negative bacteria and also for the gram positive bacteria so uh, these are the chain of amino acids l alanine d glutamine di amino pimelic acid and d alanine these are the uh, things amino acid are linked and they are linked with the other um, peptidoglycan in this way okay this this is how a gram negative bacteria cell wall looks like okay in gram positive bacteria you have got an extra thing called pep, uh, peptide interbridge which is made up of glycine okay this glycine would connect you from uh, 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 from this amino acid to the that amino acid so sure. this is the main difference between gram positive and gram negative bacteria so this is the cell wall that i want to show you in detail so next terms 
inclusion words so i told you uh, uh, the glycogen granules and all so pro, uh, prokaryotes need to have the storage for the carbon and for the phosphorus because they are in need of all uh, uh, food storage they they, source, uh, they can be uh, stored in bacterial cell in the form of granules right so uh, some of them store in the form of lipid droplets also okay so as of now i will tell you about the organic inclusion bodies mainly like glycogen so i told you the carbon source or uh, sorry like uh, the carbon source here is the glycogen and poly beta hydroxy butyrate okay this is php okay and provides material for the energy and biosynthesis so these are the organic inclusion so what are the inorganic inclusions the inorganic inclusions is a phosphate storage and phosphate granules and volatile granules okay these are the granules that are present in the prokaryotes for their storage so cyanobacteria also called blue blue green algae have two organic inclusion bodies likely cyanofission granules or carboxysomes so these are the um, cell organelles that are present mainly in your cytoplasm of your prokaryotic cell so till now i have completed in the cell wall structure the mesosome or uh, the functions of you already know the function of ribosome in the last class itself because it is involved highly in photosynthesis so i have completed about inclusion bodies and nucleoid you all know that it's a localized genetic material so cell wall is the main role i will tell you what are the other extra layers that are present outside the cell wall also okay so flagella i told you it's meant for the locomotion and endospores yes endospores are meant for the uh, some bacteria have to have uh, have to produce some endospores like clostridium okay they for surviving the harsh environment they have to produce spore and that is called endospore and i told you it's a sex pili which is meant for the bacterial matrix okay now i want to talk talk to you about the glycocalyx okay if this is a cell wall of your bacteria it has got a glycocalyx around it and this glycocalyx mainly depends upon the environment that is present outside if it is like a slime layer it is called as s layer or slime layer which is meant for the attachment and if it is like a capsule like if it is hard like if it, okay if it is hard it is called as capsule and this capsule you already know about uh, staphylococcus causes staphylococcus staphylococcus pneumonia causes staphylococcus staphylococcus pneumonia which causes uh, pneumonia in uh, mice so there there is an experiment where they have injected the bacteria with capsule to the mice so when they injected that to the mice the mice have immediately died because of the virulent action and the pathogenicity of that particular capsule around the cell so when what they have done they have removed the capsule around the bacteria and again they have injected to the mice and but by this time there is no uh, death of any uh, my, uh, mice have occurred so this says that the capsule has got the pathogenicity and it has got the virulence power in in the capsule itself so capsule is most important thing for your bacteria for, to have that virulence power okay so what is chemotaxis so what is chemotaxis is nothing but it's a movement of the bacteria towards the attractants and away from the repellent for example you all know that bacteria is generally grown on agar medium with uh, nutrients in it right so bacteria would take that particular nutrition for the carbon source and they will utilize it if uh, if you add uh, attractant into the media so attractant would be amino acids or whatever it is right if you can add amino acids and all so what happens is this particular bacteria would eat that amino acid and forms a small round so this shows that the localized carbon source is completely taken away by the bacteria in the same way if you add some repellent into that bacteria this this bacteria would immediately go away from it it will it will make a zone of it for example if you take antibiotic discs available like penicillin antibiotic if you just place a strip of penicillin on the agar medium and after some time if you just leave it alone it forms a small zone which says that this bacteria has moved away from it or some of them would have died because of the uh, antibiotic action or some would even move away so based on it we can even detect how uh, how uh, the, what is the power of your antibiotic organisms how the pathogen are they resistant to it or are they susceptible to the particular antibiotic this is how we can even see in the lab also about the chemotaxis moment okay and i told you endospore generally gram positive bacteria form a special resistant dominant structure called endospores okay they generally give resistance towards the environmental stress ultraviolet radiation uh, ultraviolet rays and also gamma radiation so example comes under bacillus and clostridium so as of now i think i have completed the main topics in prokaryotic cell regarding the structure 
okay regarding the structure and the function of each and every organelle in your prokaryotic prokaryotes okay in the next class i will discuss about the eukaryotic cell and their functions okay so uh, in eukaryotes you will come and you will come across all the uh, because all the plant cells and animal cells would come under the eukaryotes it's a bigger class i will uh, i will take it slow because um, you have to cover also the metabolic pathways that are involved in all the organelles like mitochondria i will uh, discuss in the next class itself okay so uh, whatever the uh, topics that i have covered i have attached the links in in the description box please check it out so i have just given you the structure and also the function in detail i am giving you and the links for this topic in the description please go through it and um, uh, share it okay so hope i am clear with the topic of uh, uh, cell biology in prokaryotes okay i think i have covered all the topics regard all, at all the topics in this okay so see you in the next class okay thank you and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day